And glorious people out there in glitter world. Don. Of course, you can't see Michelle. She's hiding back there. Flip the phone. Hello. Flip the phone. Say hi. No. Come here. No, 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 no. Say hi. hi. There she is. Flip the phone. All right. So what we have here is a piece of cedar. It smells good. So we have a bench in the front in the foyer area that we are going to take the top off. And we are going to use this. So I'm going to cut it here and right there to square it off. Then I'm going to find my center and I'm going to rip it down the middle. If, then I got to clean all this off. And we're going to turn this into an incredible river bench. Woohoo! Not a table, but Not a, a river table bench. Not a yet, a bench. But we're getting there. It's better than a cutting board. <laughs> Let's go. So see you in a little while. I've done it. I've created the monster. The monster mash. The monster, monster, monster mash. He's always singing and dancing. So let's see how this is gonna look. He's got songs running through his veins, I think. That's a lot of resin.
All right, form is complete. I check it, no leaks, we're doing good. So now I gotta go over with the sander and knock down a lot of this rough, loose stuff because we don't want that coming loose in our pour. So let's get started. So we're going to the beach, why? Because we're going to find some stuff to put in resin. We're going to put some cool stuff in this next table. You guys want a piece of jerky? So here we go. I made it myself. Oh gosh, stop. Hey. So we got a twist on this bench, so here we go. quick and quiet about it. Anybody watching? I don't think so. I don't think that one's gonna work. We might need something smaller. <laughs> I am mixing up the first batch, the first of three pours for this bench. I have 48 ounces that I have mixed. I am using a one-to-one -one resin. I'm not using deep pour yet, just because we're going to do the bottom layer first. And we are going to do a little 
beach scene. So I've got three colors. Skyline blue will be my darkest. I have this Okinawa blue, which will be my lightest that I'm going to be mixing with a little bit of white, just to lighten that up. Then I have this brilliant blue. This actually came with one of my resins. They gave me a few free mica powders, so that one goes pretty well. Don is in there prepping the board and putting spray release or mold release on that huge mold and strapping down the wood as I speak. I guess he's ready. I am ready for you. So I'm excited. We went and found a bunch of rocks and shells and I'm ready. we're going to be doing I'm some waves I'm in there tomorrow. So we're yeah. going to get this Don't mixed hit the up. Pause. Don't hit the pause. Stop. Time to mix some beautiful colors. It's time to mix them, to mix them. So we're going to have... Well, you always try to cover up my singing. Three um, containers, 16 ounces each. Ooh, he's like nice. You don't even have gloves on, so I guess I'm going to do all this. I'm getting gloves. I was out there working. Did you happen to cover... We're doing this in our family room because we don't have a room big enough. I already put down a tarp. I was gonna say cover our wood floors. I don't want to. Although we did test it for leaks and it didn't leak, but you just never know. You never know. That's a pretty blue. And this so is brand new. Late. I just got this color yesterday with an order. Which one? The one I'm mixing now. Is that the little one? Yeah. It's pretty. pretty. Mica powder. There's one lid on there all right this one I thought we put some white in to lighten it up what do you think well you I guess are... I guess we'll check first before we add white because we want three different shades right we do <laughs> he's just like whatever it's Sunday I should be watching TV no you shouldn't I should be it's That's my laziness Laziness, I just got to folding all my laundry and putting my laundry away. Big deal. We all lot. do that. No comment. What are you doing? Are you playing? Yeah, I'm making designs. Look at that. <laughs> I um, think I want that container. I wasn't going to use a third container, but I think it's easier to handle. Ooh, paint those are. And I got to work quick because they're deep and they're going to get hot quick. What order are you pouring these? Well, the darkest is the deepest. The darkest is the deepest. Everything doesn't have to be a song. First. <laughs> I'm just a joyful person. Yeah. You want to know why? I have no idea. Because I just tallied up the first 24 hours of our votes against it's Coaster to Coaster. It's not been 24 hours. It's only been 12. <clears throat> All right, 12 hours. You want to know the score? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 to 15. And if you rewatch that video, I said, I hope you win, right? It, it, what, no, no, you see you, no, no, no. Yes, I'm glad you won. You're glad I won. I'm glad I won. What should be the next one, guys? Should because we do I the, won. I'm talking. Excuse me. Should we do swans or light bulbs or guns? I got a bright idea. Yeah, you're so funny. Hmm. So those are the next three on board. Swans, light bulbs, or guns. Look at the effect this Ooh, this one's getting. really pretty, too. Look at this really smushy container. I know you can't see the whole thing, but I'll show you the whole thing as soon as it's done. I'm going to start with the darkest blue. I'm going to have to hand you this stuff so I don't. Well, I can hold that. And I may have mixed too much. No doubt. You can have some that's going to flow up well, underneath it's gonna, the wood. Yeah, I know. Because this a side here is a lot shallower. That is a pretty blue.
Let me have the middle color. I'll do this in two steps. I'm trying not to drip on my floors. Please. There you go, doctor. Let's create a masterpiece. Now, give me, give me a little break, people. I've never done a huge one like this. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I was wondering if three colors was too many. No, I think it's gonna look really good because see how they look how they're all flowing together here. Okay, now the third. And now I'm sure some's going to be up underneath, which is what we're expecting. I also need to get some in those holes. But what colors? That is the question. I think I'll do this color in this side, maybe the dark color on the other side. I'm thinking that's probably all we really needed because I need a coat of clear. a lot of extra pieces with this. Should I put it down that edge, do you think, or are we cutting that off anyway? That's gonna get trimmed off. Okay. But, mm, that's up to you. Oh, I didn't really want it on my wood. Unnecessary work I have to do. Well, it's got no, I'm talking about that wood. All right, middle color, a little bit left of that one. There, I fixed it. Hmm. Need some more of that darker color in there that's sunk. Why don't you mix a little bit of that middle color in with this dark color? No, or you want just, you just to just keep dark color in there? Yeah, we'll make some extra pieces out of that stuff. We'll with the dark. Lighter color too. Or you could probably just scrape all that into that. Well, you're gonna plane it down anyway, so. Maybe the light and then we'll go. I knew I was mixing too much. Way too much. Okay. Let me use this. Scrape that up on there. I mean, it's gonna move all by itself. So the question is, do we put our rocks in now or I think with the clear coat? I think with the clear coat. Yeah. We could let that dry and then we'll take the clear coat and paint the sides here so they don't leak with any air bubbles and then use the clear coat to seal the rocks in. What do you think? Yep. Is the student learning from the teacher? I hope so. It's <clears throat> not crazy about the blue that I got on the wood. I guess we can... That needs to be filled in. The lightest color.
Well, you said fill it I in. I said fill it in. That's for sure. All right. Torch oh, it. Torch it. I forgot. Hit it good. Glad you, want... you remembered. Oh, we got something right in there. This is all going to move. Yeah, I know. But there's something right there that in right there. And we go get the oh, oh my, right there. Ooh, start a fire. Fire. All right. That's it today. Well, for now. Ready to go clean up. Cut. Cut. Oh. Hang on. Okay, now cut. Okay. All right, next step. Um, we did a few things without you. So we added our pebbles and our rocks. Some of the big ones are stuck in the blue because I thought they would be easier, but all of this stuff is loose right now. The big ones are not. So I've mixed up two cups of clear and a tiny little bit of just resin white for the waves. So I'm just gonna drizzle this in, trying to keep everything in place. That way we have a base for our, our white waves. I'm probably gonna let this thicken up so the camera will go off for a little while before I pour the before I blow out the waves. So we'll probably let this thicken up for about 10 to 15 minutes just so the waves don't go everywhere. Yeah, nice blue. So I'm happy that none of these rocks are moving. And then after this is dry, it's time for the deep pour and we will just fill the rest of it up. And then what's the next steps after the deep pour? Then you get it. You get it back to work your magic. Magic. With all your fun little we tools. We can do anything. I can add, I can add a... Uh, you know, I think there's a song that says songs to the video. You don't have to sing. About them. every word that you come up with, I come up with a song. I am gonna pop these bubbles before we start. We even found some sticks at the beach. We got driftwood in there. It might be up a little bit too high. Well, now it's time to fix it. All right, we can put that for now. All right, so what are you getting ready to do? I'm so nervous. Why? Okay, I'm gonna test one wave before I go crazy. Make sure everything's good. Just remember. Less is more. Oh, by the way, hon. I was tallying up our votes ah, yeah, well, on the coasters. You want to know the results? I know you won. I told you that. Where's the alcohol spray? As of a little bit ago, it was 40 to 15. That looks nice. That looks like the waves are pretty good. Let's just keep going. Should have put a little scuba diver in there. Hey, I got a suggestion. Don't spray alcohol and then torch. 
No, it's the other way around, silly. All right, I'm happy with them, are you? I'm happy. What do you mean the other way around? If you spray alcohol and then torch, you're gonna have a flame. I said torch first, then alcohol. See how the alcohol made those nice little cells? I see that. I think I'll put one out here too. What if when you put the white in there, you kind of take the heat gun and heat it up a little bit first and then melt and then push it? Well, it's working. Look at those pretty cells. Don't now, cover up too much of our blue. I'm it, not. I'm going to go, you go on that side, I'll go on this side. Because now this side needs them to go this way. What we forgot to tell you is we took resin and we went all the way up to seal the wood in, which it really should be done again. But uh, To help lock in so no air bubbles come out, right? Yes. See? The student is learning. And... The student someday We're going to switch sides again. Overtake his teacher. Why do you keep making us switch sides? Because I have to do it from the right side. That is looking so good. I know, I love it. And this is a bench. Can you imagine what our dining room table is going to look like? Cool. Now we got to switch sides again. Hmm. One more spot. I'm thinking I quit my full time These job. These things are so fun. I wish I had this. more. What do you think? Yeah, I wish. I build a huge workshop. Give us some custom orders, guys, and then we can quit our job and make your orders all day. <laughs> yeah. We'll build a big, huge shop. I think with that, I would stop. Yeah, I know. Oh, Take it's so pretty! Take a quick fly over the I know Cigletti's it's dark lagoon. in here today. It's like 7 o'clock at night. I think it looks awesome. That does look good. All right. All right. We will see you tomorrow. What are you about to do? Look at this, you guys. That's a lot of resin. It's a massive amount of resin. I mixed up 120 ounces. I'm sure it's too much, but that's okay. This came out beautiful. No bubbles anywhere. Let me We're just do a fly super over Super happy here. with it. Look at how nice I did those waves. You did them, huh? Yeah, I did all those waves. Wow, you did a great job. I know, I should get a pat on the back. I know. Or probably a smack on the back of the head from you because you actually did it, but hey. All right. <laughs> Whoa, that would have not been good. So there's a lot of bubbles. I need a pressure pot, so we're going to have to have a resin off to win a pressure pot. So if I win, I get the pressure pot. If you win, you get the pressure pot. That's kind of sucky. That doesn't sound very fair at all. <laughs> I think it's pretty fair. How about if I win... I get to go on an elk hunt. Oh, jeez. If you win, you get your pressure pot. Yeah, because that's about the same. Oh. It's not even close to the same, but it's okay. 
We are gonna do a flood coat on this, we decided. So if it spills over, it doesn't matter. Let me move this out of the way. This is gonna look really nice. We are gonna have to babysit this for a while. You're on. I'm on? You're on. On what? On top of the world? You're on TV. On TV. Hello, TV people. All right, so our project is this bench top that we've been making. And it sat for three, three and a half days. Nice and hard, all cured. I took all the form off, which did not come off too easy at all. So the next one, I gotta come up with a better idea. So now I have it on the, on the uh, miter saw. It's all nice and square, so I'm gonna trim up my edges. I'll get these two sides done on a miter saw. Then I'll have to set up the table saw and run it through and get these two ends. So, let's cut. Too bad it's not smell-o-vision because this is red cedar and you can smell it right now. Oh man, it smells so good. So we're all nice and square. Everything came out perfect on that one. So I'll pause it here for a minute, get this thing turned around, get it re-squared and we'll go from there. All right, so what we're gonna do, we've got it planed down, ran it through the planer. See, it's all nice and smooth, all the junk's gone. So now, we're gonna take the router and we're gonna put a little half round all the way around the top edge here. And, uh, flood coat. And then flood coat. Seal coat day. All right, Miss Glitter, what are you doing? So I understand you have to seal coat the wood. So when we do the flood coat, none of the bubbles will come out. So that's what we're going to do. So I don't know how much resin I'm going to use. So I'm just going to pour it on, get it super thin, and also get all the sides. So this is our first big project like this, right? First one. So we're gonna learn off of this. And I think we need to do two seal coats, at least two, before we flood coat it. Look at that red cedar pop. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It's gonna be nice. I'm so excited. And as usual, we will start the bidding off at $5,000.
I should have tied my hair back. I'm hoping when this one comes so you out. You need almost no resin. I have a lot of extra. Although I, I do need to do the sides, which I'll do with my hands. Sorry for all the clutter. We kind of had to build a makeshift room to do this project in for right now. All right, so. It is finished. He's got the base on. We had that base from our past bench that was in here. And we did the flood coat with um, Let's Resin. Um, I'll get the picture for you. Tabletop, that's what I'm trying to think of. Let's Resin Tabletop Resin. So this is the final product. Let us know what you think. I hope you like it, because we do. I think we nailed it. We're working our way up. What do you think? We got some little blue in those cracks. All right. Hope you guys all have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.